This, I think, is one of the best scores of Goodwill I've ever made. Notice the old style of case. It's even got a lock on it, which I don't have a key for, so I'm not going to use it. Looks like it had a handle at one point, but it broke off. This looks like something you'd see in the 30s or 40s type of casing. But what could be in here? Something very, very, very special. There you have it. This is 1930s. This is straight up 1930s. This is the carrying case for a Kodoscope uh, 8mm film projector. Made in the USA by Kodak. And this case works with so many models of this projector, it's not even funny. Here's the projector itself. There you go, this is a Model 50. And what this does is it projects 8mm film. To take this thing out and actually show you it. It's a little heavy, because it's American made. Still has the old, like, uh, cloth cable. And look, you can actually see all the circuitry inside the plug still. But the cord is in great shape. I'm very surprised. It still bends perfectly, and it's not frayed or anything. This thing's probably still safe to plug in. Which I'll probably have to do at some point. There's also a spring in here. I'm not sure what this spring is for or where it went. If anybody knows these Kodoscope projectors, where does this spring go? I have a feeling it does. It goes like here or something like that. Like, I don't know. Although there's a spring right here on the uh, on this wheel. So I wonder if this isn't just a spare spring. I don't know. Oh, it goes here. Okay. Yeah, it goes here. Yep, I found where it goes. Okay. The spring goes right there. So they use a spring like a belt almost, except the spring is a little bit stretched out. Yeah, they use a spring like a belt. Except this is not a very effective belt because that spring is so... Nice. If you look down in here, you can see the light. It's a long light. It looks like the top of an old tube. But it's a 300 watt General Electric uh, project projection bulb. And there you have it. Now the only thing left to do is to test it and see if it works. It looks like there's a fan right there as well. I guess the best thing to do for this is to variac it just in case it smokes or something, just so I don't blow out the motor. But there you go. There's the light and everything. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lens or anything for this, so it's just, you know, just the projector chassis itself. So I can take the top off. Cool. Let's see what's in here. You have a space for an extra bulb right there. You have an on-off switch that has a hefty amount of stuff in it. Uh, looks like this. I don't know what this does. Looks like there's a bank of contacts down there in that knob. There you go. There's the bulb. Now, the only thing I care about is whether the bulb works or not, because... This thing's probably going to be going on eBay at some point because I don't have use for an 8mm projector. I haven't for at least three years. <laughs> One problem with the... Oh, the off position's up. Okay, so I'll go get the Variac and we'll try this thing out. Okay, we have the Variac here. Let's take the projector and plug her in. Looks like it's non-polarized, so I don't know whether, uh, which is positive, which is negative. Negative is black, and that connects up to this, so I'll put the negative right that way. Okay. It's 
Let's turn it on and see what happens. It does work. The bulb works. The motor looks a little seized up, though. Hey! Look at that! Ah, that's a bright bulb. Wow. Fully working projector. Oh, that's so cool. Well, what does this do? That varies the speed of the motor right there, this knob. As you'll be able to hear and see. See, look at the cams right there, the cam shafts and everything. So this adjusts the frame rate right here, which really just varies the speed of the motor. You can see it. You can't really see it flashing there, but, you know. There you go. Fully working projector. Wow. <laughs> that frame rate can go pretty damn high on this thing. <laughs> Although luckily back then, you know, when you shot film with a camera, it shot it at a pretty high frame rate, so you could just sl so I guess back then you just slowed it down with a knob. I have a fully working 8 millimeter projector. That's awesome. The only thing it really needs is a uh... wow, that gets really hot. The only thing that it really needs is a new spring. That's about it. So, that was a really good find. That's really cool, man. That's really cool. And that's it for the 8mm projector. There you go.